I have a quick question for you. Should we respond to our haters on social media and review sites? Or should we ignore them? My answer might surprise you. Watch this video until the end to see the best way to respond to those negative Nellies. Hey, it's Marcus Allen. I'm the guy who runs MoreWebsiteSales.com, helping small business owners use small winning tactics, yielding bigger website sales since November of 1997. Now, look at these videos featuring the world's favorite doctor, Anthony Fauci. Take a close look at the number of dislikes versus likes under each of these YouTube videos. Almost every video featuring Anthony Fauci shows the dislikes far outnumber the numbering of likes. This is a very rare phenomenon because according to YouTube tracking stats, the average like to dislike ratio is about 90%. That means for every nine likes, there is one dislike, but not for Anthony Fauci. On YouTube, Anthony Fauci averages something like two dislikes for every one like. How can thousands of haters yell and scream about Fauci's vax online, yet millions in the real world beg for Fauci to deliver this magical gene-changing therapy? There are three big takeaways for me here. Takeaway number one, through good old-fashioned marketing, Anthony Fauci's reputation will never be tarnished where it counts in the powerful news media. Why? It's brilliantly simple. Fauci pays for his reputation. Fauci's private business called the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, which by the way is as federal as Federal Express, Fauci's private company pays the news media to pump fear on the public on a never-ending basis. Over the decades, Fauci, along with Big Pharma, have invested tens of billions of dollars on a continuous fear-mongering campaign within the news media. And if you're a regular watcher of my marketing training videos, I talk about how fear is one of the top human motivators. Scaring the shit out of people, whether true or not, is a highly effective way to sell our products online. Takeaway number two. When you're a top paying advertiser like Fauci's businesses, you get free damage control included in the price of advertising. The news would never risk losing those big advertising dollars and tell us the truth about what everyone is screaming about in these YouTube comments. Instead, Fauci's business pays big bucks to have the news media anoint Anthony Foucher as our savior. Fauci's the guy who's going to save us from this invisible enemy that has an average 99.7% recovery rate across the planet. And then there's takeaway number three. For us small business people, it's the most important takeaway. Anthony Fauci never responds to the haters. Never. He doesn't give two fucks about these nasty comments. He's too busy doing the marketing to get the jab in as many people as possible. You will never see Anthony Fauci or anyone at his business waste their time replying to nasty comments or reviews. First off, replying is almost never worth it. It can even be seen as a sign of weakness. Even worse, it can trigger people to jump into the conversation with even more hate. The worst part is fretting about negativity has long-term effects. For example, I met with restaurant owners who admit taking two to three hours to reply to a single negative review. One pizza shop owner I know still rages about a bad review he got seven years ago. Imagine instead taking that same number of hours better marketing your business. Getting even with the haters by doing a little bit more marketing to make their hate irrelevant. Look, the enemy of our small business is not a few haters. The real enemy are big, greedy corporations and utterly corrupt government officials. And if COVID-19 taught us one thing, it's this. There is a war on online website owners like us. With fewer places to advertise, it's harder than ever to grow our online business. The cost of online advertising continues to skyrocket only the biggest corporations can afford it. Even worse, Google quietly changes its algorithm and slashes the amount of referrals they send to our website. Trust me on this, wasting time on a few haters is not the solution. It's a terrible waste of our time. That's the bad news. Here's the good news. For me, investing the time on marketing trumps dealing with the hate every single time. And that's where I can help you out. Visit my website right now at morewebsitesales.com. Let me show you how to ignore those negative haters. Grab my bag of marketing tactics just seconds from now. Get a bunch of small wins that yield you bigger website sales and bring in a steady flow of new customers to your website every day. Do what the most successful businesses do. Get even with those haters by ignoring them. Investing the same time on growing your online business at morewebsitesales.com.